Warning. The following video contains scenes that some viewers may find disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. One of the most infamous serial killers in American history is profiled in The Chilling Confessions of Richard Cottingham in this fascinating story. In the 1970s, Cottingham, also known as the Torso Killer, terrorized New York City and left a trail of decapitated bodies in his wake. His crime stunned the country and confounded investigators for years. Welcome to the Bleeding Truth YouTube channel. To know about some of the scary crime facts, click the subscribe button and make sure to hit the bell icon if you don't want to miss out on our new videos. The horrifying confessional records of Richard Cottingham provide a window into the inner workings of a psychopath. Cottingham's story is a disturbing reflection of the darkness that may reside inside the human psyche, from his early years through his period of terror. Richard Cottingham? Who is he? According to the New York Times, Richard Cottingham was born in 1946 and spent the majority of his childhood in New Jersey. In 1970, he was married, and they had three kids. Cottingham commuted to his job as a computer operator at Blue Cross Blue Shield from Lodi, New Jersey, where he resided with his wife and children. Lodi is located approximately 30 minutes outside of Manhattan. The Times reported that he also informed his wife that he worked nights while renting an apartment in the city. But in fact, Cottingham was stalking Times Square, pursuing sex workers, and monitoring their whereabouts. What offenses did Richard Cottingham commit? Cottingham left a trail of horrifying murder scenes throughout New York City and the adjacent suburbs of New Jersey in the late 1970s and early 1980s, confusing police and setting the area on edge. Police in New York City were called to a horrifying scene at a travel in Motor Hotel in December 1979. This crime is thought to have been Cottingham's first of this kind. Two charred women's bodies were discovered in a hotel room by a staff member. Both their hands and heads had been severed. Another Times Square sex worker was discovered deceased in a New Jersey motel a few months later. According to the Times, this act was later connected to a second murder that occurred there. The Times adds that a fifth woman was discovered dead and dismembered at a Fifth Avenue hotel in Manhattan later that month. According to the New York Times, Cottingham was deemed guilty of all five murders in August 1984 after denying responsibility. He was then transferred to a state prison in New Jersey and given a sentence of over 200 years in jail. The body of Mary and Della Sala, then 17 years old, was found in the Passaic River in New Jersey in 1967. It wasn't until 2022 that her family found out who had killed her. Richard Cottingham, dubbed the Torso Killer, confessed after being interrogated by Robert Anzilotti, who left his position as the Chief of Detectives for the Bergen County Prosecutor's Office in 2021. So until now, the general public has not been made aware of the news. Now it's time to recall some of his scary confessions that he had done. Judge Karen Fink gave a critical speech in response to serial killer Richard Cottingham's guilty plea in the murders of five Nassau County, New York women more than 50 years ago. She stated there are no words to adequately explain how purely evil he is. The 1968 murder of 23-year-old dance instructor Diane Cusick, who was discovered strangled to death in her car in the parking area of the Green Acres Mall in Valley Stream, New York, had been confessed to by Cottingham, 76, who had become known in New Jersey as the Torso Killer following a series of killings. Cottingham claimed to murder four other women during the years 1972 and 1973 in an agreement to plead guilty with the Nassau County District Attorney's Office. Mary Beth Hines in May 1972, Laverne Moy in July 1972, Sheila Hyman in July 1973, 
and Maria Emerita Rosado Nieves in December 1973. As part of the plea agreement, Cottingham will serve 25 years to life in prison in addition to his earlier murder convictions and pleas, and he will not be prosecuted for these killings. Cottingham has confessed to a great number of further murders in the years since his initial imprisonment. According to NorthJersey.com, he acknowledged kidnapping two New Jersey girls in 1974 when they were doing their shopping at a mall and murdering them in April 2021. According to reports, Cottingham deeply regrets what he did. His attorney John Bruno, of Rutherford, New Jersey, said, Cottingham told me this weighs heavily on him because he doesn't know why he did the things he did. He has deep regrets. He still doesn't understand why he did these things. But he feels relief knowing he has come clean for the families and for himself. How was Richard Cottingham caught by the cops? Between 1967 and 1980, Richard Cottingham killed more than a dozen women in New York and New Jersey. He asserts to have killed about 100 others. On May 22, 1980, the disgusting sadist eventually came to justice after a maid at Equality Inn in Hasbrook Heights, New Jersey, noticed screaming out of his room. Leslie and Odell, who was 19 years old, was screaming. Leslie frantically hand-waved for assistance as the maid went to check on the crying client, and the maid dialed 911. Richard tried to run, but the cops caught him and put him in handcuffs. Thankfully, the serial killer has spent the last few decades spending time at Trenton's New Jersey State Prison, and supposed to be there for very long. That brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for being to the end of the video don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and tell us what you think about this video below in the comment section. And I wanted to be the best serial killer, yes. <laughs> I've probably done anything a man would want to do with a woman. Uh, obviously I must be sick somehow. <laughs>